Hey friends, Joe Edelman here with another featurette on one of the more unique and recently modded guitars in my collection. This is my 2013 Made in Mexico Classic Player Jaguar HH, into which I've recently installed Seymour Duncan's P-Rail humbucker pickups. I'll talk a little bit more about the story of the guitar and how and why I modded it, but first, two bits of housekeeping. First, be sure to buy tickets if you haven't already to There There's upcoming show on Saturday, September 23rd at the Music Fest Cafe in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It will be our final show of this year's Glastonbury 2003 Anniversary Series, and it's going to be an amazing night with a few surprises. Or no surprises? Second, if you're watching and you enjoy these videos and you haven't already, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and tap the bell for notifications to see more. If you're new to the channel, I make a variety of videos including covers, tutorials, and mod reviews like this. As a disclaimer, I did not receive the pickups or any of the parts included in this mod for free, and so all the thoughts here are my own. If you would like to purchase these pickups, I've left an affiliate link in the description for which I'd receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you as always for supporting this channel. So I purchased this guitar a decade ago now in a small music shop in New Jersey, and it quickly became a workhorse for me in the cover bands that I was playing in at the time. The unique selling point of the guitar is that it is a dual humbucker Jaguar instead of the typical single coils, but it has a kill switch and adjustable coil splits where the rhythm circuit controls normally are. I made fairly liberal use of both of these, using the splits to either get strattier or more Gibson-y sounds for different songs, and the kill switch both for noise cancellation as well as a Johnny Greenwood style stuttering effect. Several years later, I decided to change the stock Fender Enforcer humbuckers for Seymour Duncan's Hot Rod set, which is a Duncan Jazz in the neck and a JB or Jeff Beck pickup in the bridge. Interestingly, the JB in its miniature or junior form is what's in Ed O'Brien's signature strat. I enjoyed these pickups for a time, but I could never really get the desired clarity out of them, and they were fairly weak in split mode. They're both still very nice and consistently popular pickups, but they didn't work for me in this guitar. More recently, I had heard about the P-Rail pickup, which pairs a P90-style single coil with one of Duncan's rail-style coils. Viewers of the channel may remember that I briefly experimented with their Hot Rails mini humbucker in my telly before giving it a full lace sensor treatment like Johnny's. The cool thing about P-Rails, though, is that with the right wiring setup, you can use them as a full humbucker with both coils in series or access either side of the pickup independently or in parallel. This gives you a really wide range of possible sounds from brighter to darker and a range of output levels. I was a fan of the P90 sound from my Epiphone Casino, and I liked hearing that the rail side could even achieve strat-like tones in the right context. So the blending the two of these sounded like a great way to get multiple personas out of the Jaguar without it just sounding like a traditional humbucker coil split, which can sort of sound a little weak. Now there are a bunch of ways that you can install this pickup to access the splitting and routing capabilities. One of them is a pickup ring that Duncan sells called the Triple Shot, which has mini switches on it that let you choose series, parallel, or either coil separately. I briefly attempted making these work with my Jaguar, but I found that the little ribbon cable and PCB were very delicate and broke easily, so I returned them and decided to do my coil splitting the old-fashioned way with push-pull pots. As I mentioned before, the coil splitting function on this Jaguar was previously tied to the rhythm circuit controls, with the two thumb wheels acting as a variable gain for the second coil of each pickup. I did like this feature, but I found that results were still fairly binary. You either got the humbucker sound or the single coil sound without a lot of discernible variation in tone in between. So I decided that a traditional push-pull configuration would be fine and I could bypass this part of the circuit. I briefly contemplated trying to repurpose it either back into a rhythm circuit or something else, but I decided that I would keep things simple for the time being and instead only use the pickup selector area with its high-pass switch and the single volume and tone control. Sadly, I also ditched the kill switch, but I could probably still add it back in later. I found a wiring diagram on Seymour Duncan's website, which I'll link in the description, and I sourced two Bourne's 500K push-pull pots and a .047 UF capacitor from Amazon. I also decided to add a little pizzazz by changing the pick guard to a red perloid one from WD Music. More on this later. The soldering work was fairly easy given the limited controls, and I didn't have to rewire the pickup selector area dramatically, just move a couple wires around. Upon doing some research online, I noticed that some folks installed their neck pickup reversed so that the rail coil, which is the more fendery of the two, would be closer to the neck and therefore give it more of that classic bell-like chime of a Strat neck pickup. So I opted to do the same, but I left the rail coil on the inside for the bridge, but then later I also decided that this logic would be great for the bridge pickup, moving the rail closer to the bridge to give it more of that bite of a Jaguar. And the P90 coil being moved a little further inside had no detriment on its sound in the bridge position, Instead, it further accentuated its natural mid-range punch. The pick guard from WD Music was designed for the classic player HH guitar, but it did fit a little strangely near the upper horn and the lower control plate. 
I was still able to get it into place flushly and mostly align the screw holes, but just a typical word of warning for those buying aftermarket pickguards. I also found some Tele barrel style knobs in black with indicator lines to still give a Jaguar-like aesthetic but with better grip than the stock knobs for use with the push-pull pots. So here's a quick walkthrough of the controls for the guitar. As before, these pickup switches work for the neck and the bridge, respectively, and then the final switch is a high-pass filter, so this is off and this is engaging the high-pass filter, which works beautifully well with the pickups in humbucker mode to clean up some of the low mids or to make the single coil position even surfier. For the volume and tone knobs, with both pots in the normal push-down position, the guitar is in humbucker mode, so both coils of each pickup in series. With just the tone knob pulled up, the P90 side of both pickups is accessed. With just the volume knob pulled up, the rail side of both pickups is accessed. And with both knobs pulled up, both coils of each pickup are active but in parallel as opposed to the traditional series routing one into the other of humbuckers. Obviously with something like mini toggle switches, you could have the coil configurations be independent per pickup so that you could pair the humbucker of one with the P90 of the other, etc. But I wanted to keep things a bit more simple and just let the guitar simply be one pickup type at a time, as if it was a regular Jaguar or a P90s one or a humbucker equipped Gibson.
as you can hear in the sound samples, I'm pretty pleased with the result. In humbucker mode, the neck pickup has the rich and deep character of a Gibson PAF style, and the bridge has a very hot profile that pairs well with distortion, similar to Johnny's Lace Dually Red. Using the high pass with either of these will tame the gain and low mids a little bit, more like a wide range humbucker. In P90 mode, the guitar has plenty of sparkly top end, which I love, but still a lot of mid-range punch for light gain. In rails mode, it feels most like a vintage Jaguar, and you can get some really bitey sounds out of the bridge. The output level definitely drops substantially, but you can easily get around this with a good volume boost pedal. The parallel mode is really cool too. It has output a little bit closer to the humbucker mode, but with a clarity that's similar to the single coil modes. Some people say, for example, in the neck position, it has elements of the Strat fourth position sound, which is the same idea, but with, you know, single coils that are spaced further apart from each other. Let me know in the comments what you think about this mod. Overall, I think these are really great sounding and distinct pickup offering, and I'm pleased with the renewed versatility of this guitar. I may tweak things further in the future, but for now, I'll keep wheeling it out to more There There shows in a city near you, so stay tuned. Be well, and I'll see you soon.